everyone, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to go through um, how to get three stars at a hospital site in the game Two Point Hospital. I found this game just as I was looking for new games to play. And as it's part of the Xbox Game Pass, I thought, why not give it a shot, especially considering the current state of affairs. Uh, who knows? Maybe I can apply to be a hospital administrator when this is over. Uh, so it's a hospital sim game. It's like a lot of the other building games you're going to play. It has goals for you to beat and different things for you to build. Uh, there are, of course, achievements. There are achievements for 15, 30, 45, 63, and 72 stars. Uh, I'll probably never get the 72 stars because that would require paying for the Close Encounters add-on pack. So as you can see here, the goals to get the first star at this site is cleaning up 100 bits of litter and to hire three janitors. So I have hired some janitors. In order to get patients in the hospital, you have to have a reception desk. So you can see the reception desk. Uh, I have created a general practitioner's office because in order to diagnose and cure patients, you need a general practitioner's office. But again, I am mainly concentrating on the hiring of the three janitors and the sweeping up the hundred bits of litter. Here you can see, you can see I checked the temperature because Peverly Beach gets hot, so you need to air condition your hospital so that your doctors and your patients are comfortable. Every once in a while you'll see um, a, diagnose, a new diagnosis pops up and they ask me if I want to build that particular room. At this point in earning this star, I am not building all the rooms. Uh, here I'm building a training room so that I can train my staff so that they are more effective at their jobs. <laughs> by the garbled announcements I do have this sped up as it did take probably three to five hours or so to get all three of the stars. <laughs> decided I was building a ward so that I could diagnose and cure more patients. Ooh, I'm so close. I only have like two bits of litter left. And huzzah, I hit a star. Or is there telling me I'm finally clean enough to be considered a hospital? So now we will move on to getting star two. Star's two goals are to have a cure rate of 70%, train 12 janitors, cure 10 patients with blank look, and water 40 plants. Train 12 janitors. Well, that's not that bad. Uh, the cure rate is 70%. We're going to have to build more rooms. And as you can see here, I'm building a cure room. And this is for the blank look so that I can cure the 10 blank look patients. <laughs> I had the cure rate of 70% and it dropped. I think the cure rates are the hardest stars to get. I 
finally building my faculty room to keep my staff happy and contented. <laughs> kind of digging this sped up music. Still send sending home a bunch of patients that I don't feel like building the cure rooms for at the moment. Okay, I finally finally decided to opening a marketing office so that I can run a campaign to get those last four patients for the blank look that I need to earn that second star for the hospital. And hopefully that'll get me close to the 70% cure rate that I need as well. second star. Woo, that was hard work. But wait till star three because that cure rate shoots right up. Okay, as you can, you can see, to get a three star hospital, you have to have a cure rate of 80%. You have to hire 12 janitors, which I did that, but I didn't show it all because basically I just kept hiring and firing janitors because you really don't need 12 at a time. Um, you have to have a hospital attractiveness of 75%, which, yes, you do need a lot of janitors to keep the bodily fluids cleaned up, as well as plants watered if you have them, and toilet cubicles running smoothly, and as well as the machines running smoothly. And you have to upgrade 15 machines. So you'll see, I replaced my marketing room with a research room so that I could research the blank face to level three so I could upgrade that machine to a level three. I also ended up, in order to get the 15 upgrades because again, of the limited space in your hospital, you don't have all the diagnosis rooms you might normally have, I basically kept removing and then rebuying and re-upgrading all my machines to level three to get that those 15 upgrades. Typically, with the sites in this game, you have room to expand your hospital. However, this particular location in the Peverly Beach, this is all that you get. You cannot expand. So, space is at a premium, which is why I've been trying to limit the diagnosis rooms that I build to allow me the best cure rate possible. I decided to do some research to earn a little bit more money for my hospital as I had a lot of other expenses because of the deleting and rebuying all the machines for the other diagnosis rooms.
money for my research projects and I've decided that a better use of that space would be another general practitioner's office to hopefully increase my diagnosis reading to the 80% that I need for that third star. that if a real hospital had the same death rate as these two-point hospitals it wouldn't be very good uh, a lot of the patients die it takes a lot of time for them to work their way through one general practitioner especially with the amount of people I have in my queue right there uh, Generally, I've had I've had patients storm out after 300 some days of not even getting in to get a diagnosis. So, yeah, they didn't really code this in a realistic way. <laughs> It's right around here I decided I was gonna get rid of the second bathroom to make way for another diagnosis room to get to that 80% because I was getting really tired and I just wanted to finish this star and then I stopped paying attention for a few seconds I think I went to grab something to eat and it magically just kind of happens so whoop whoop finally got my three stars well thank you for joining me and if you play this game i hope these tips and tricks kind of help you out and if not i at least hope you had fun hanging out with me today and until next time stay geeky